uh, sir, regarding this event, not just Muslim leaders, but uh, religious leaders from different religions were called upon. Everybody sat here, shared the you know room, and everybody was listening to what Dr. Al Isa said. So, what do you make out from this event? Yeah, this event was very good. Uh, the uh, Dr. Ali was spoken the very uh, relevant topic, you know, harmony within the among the religious, right? So for that, uh, we we all the religious leader come together should come together, uh, should sit and have dialogue uh, and 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 and, and uh, make this is decision that the uh, what. Should we message to the uh, audience or to the public, to the human society, that uh, dialogue should be there? Do you think India should, um, you know, further initiate such discussions and uh, you know invite people so that they can, you know, hold uh, sit together and hold talks about religion and religious tolerance in India? Yes, yes. Not only not only India should invite to others, but the, 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 the other countries should also invite. Uh, the Indians' leaders, spiritual leaders, gurus, to discuss uh, the the, the uh, topic on the harmony, how the harmony can spread all over the world. So, what's your good name? Uh, Venerable Nanda. Dr. Ali Isa ne speech di. To unhone apni speech mein ye kaha ki religious leaders jo hai, Islamic preachers aur kisi bhi religion ke jo leaders hai, spiritual leaders hai, unko ek saath aana hai aur jo extremist ideology hai, usko khadm karne ki koshish karni hai. To kya take hai aapka is baat? Dekho, ye sahi baat hai ki jab tak ham jaise ye sare seminar hote hain ya is tarikhe ke program hote hain, ham speeches de dete hain. Lekin hume in जो भी हमारे स्टेटमेंट होते हैं हमें उसको इम्प्लीमेंट करने के लिए रूट लेवल पर आना होगा हमें यूथ के बीच में जाना होगा क्योंकि अगर हम कोई भी पॉलिसीज़ लेकर आते हैं तो जब तक यूथ इन्वॉल्व नहीं होगा हम उसको कहते हैं कि उसे सक्सेसफुल नहीं कर सकता है उसको किसी भी डिसीज़न को और किसी भी पॉलिसीज़ को तो जो भी स्टेटमेंट दिया है डॉक्टर हिस्सा ने बस अब हमें ज़रूरत है कि हम सभी यूथ को आकर उसे रूट लेवल पर उसको इम्प्लीमेंट करना है how do you look up to this and what is the significance of this very event? Uh, first, I would like to thanks to him, His Excellency Dr. Muhammad Abdul Karim Al Isa Sahab. The way he expressed his uh, feelings about our country and the word he said, I salute the Indian constitution, I salute the Indian democracy. Uh, I would like to again thanks to him. And this is the message to the world actually. Ke we should understand our responsibility and especially the religious leaders and dharam guru should understand their responsibility they should come out from their uh, institution and take care of their society they do they did not misguided by the extremist people by the radical forces and whatever uh, course and the literature served to the youth it should be uh, verified by the government each and every government not to the india each and every government because youth is totally misguided by the extremist people the social media is used by the these elements and uh, whatever speech he delivered today this is the right message to the world that now we should come united to fight against the terrorism against the uh, extremism and religious leaders should come together and sit together and start their dialogue because there is a lack of communication between the community, between the religious leaders, between the religion. So we should uh, remove this uh, lack of communication and start new dialogue, dialogue and start new journey for the peace. Like, because India is always giving the message of peace, unity, communal harmony and universal brotherhood. India invited people from Saudi Arabia to talk on things like religious tolerance and few other things. Do you think in such difficult times it was necessary for India to call on to people from Saudi Arabia, especially General Secretary for the uh, Muslim World League, Dr. Al Isa himself came to this stage, talked about communal harmony and brotherhood. What do you make out of this? It was extremely important uh, given how things are going in India in terms of communal harmony. Um, and coming it from a Muslim worldwide Muslim leader, this is a significant message for even Muslims in India and even for those Hindus who sometimes uh, see as opposites, both, uh, see both religions as opposite and that there is no 
uh, it is not possible to have communal harmony. So I think it's a, uh, there could not have been a better time for him to be here and uh, uh, deliver this message of peace and harmony between communities. What do you think about it and what is the significance of this very prestigious event? Well, you have asked me two questions. Um, uh, his, uh, one is a specific one on uh, how one should combat the widespread dissemination of negative uh, data, negative impressions, negative information about world's religions. And uh, I think what he suggested was the right course of action, that we should respond to it with positive information, dialogue, uh, and producing literature, which, is, uh, uh, which produces harmony among religions rather than discord. Yeah. And the significance of this uh, event, I think, is actually, uh, well, I should rephrase that. This is a very significant event because I have never heard such a lecture from a Muslim divine or scholar. I'm in the academia, so I have heard such speeches from professors like Professor Nasser, very well-known professor of Islam, and we have conversation like, conversations like this with our colleagues. But I had never in the past heard a uh, minister of the Saudi government speak in these terms. So I was delighted to be here, and uh, I feel uplifted by participating in the event. He saw India as the source of global harmony. That is far more important. In fact, this narrative it should have been very natural. It could not be built in India for political reasons. To build this narrative, the biggest problem is politics. And uh, that is being distorted by creating false narratives that minorities are in problem, they are discriminated, they are oppressed. You know, this is not only affecting the political image of India, it is affecting the dharmic image of India, the philosophic image of India. I think what he mentioned today, that India teaches harmony that is far more important than his praising the government or policies. That is incidental. So do you think government has a role to play and do you think government can combat such extremist ideology through literature or any other medium? You see, even the government's capacity to fight any extremism or terrorism will be based on whether the public opinion is helping the government, is harming the government. But in India, public opinion is harming the government, capacity to work. Because there is always something, the, if uh, the person who is spreading this happens to be a minority, then if you take action, it is not seen as an action against a wrongdoing. It is taken as an action against a minority. This is what is hampering because the public opinion built is now weighing on the government. That is where I think Dr. Alisa's proposition that India is the teacher of harmony, provider of harmony, that is far more important. Because it transcends beyond the constitution of India. That the society is harmonious. So that is where the constitution itself is a product of the society and the philosophy. That is what is important. So this is a very significant moment both for India and Saudi Arabia. So what are the takeaways from the event and how do you see this panning out? It has been very fruitful and it's a very good initiative. So the main core point was dialogue between faith that is the only solution of course trying to understand each other trying to understand the essential principles in every faith of course it was a very very promising event about the event i want to know what is the significance of this event first of all uh, dr al isa is a such a huge personality for the world to come together as not only religious but he is a uh, he is leading our uh, own islamic scholars and islamic culture in the worldwide first one is i was invited in riyadh 
by Alisa. And that time I seen the hospitality he has given for Hindu and India. So it is our duty to give him same uh, hospitality and love because you can hear by his speech that how much love he has for our country and our scholars. So for me or my religion or my culture, it is very important nowadays in India because his presence in India itself is a message to the world. This is a very significant event for India as well as Saudi Arabia. Government is taking initiatives to combat extremism. How do you look up to this? You know, the effort and but the speech what he made is really wonderful. We never expect such a speech from we. We have different type of mind that they have different type of thoughts. But what he says about the dialogues and all the things is really remarkable and we respect that. Uh, what about the initiative of government to combat such extremist thoughts and they have invited people from Saudi Arabia uh, to this platform and then here in India we have this diverse culture, diverse religion. Do you think this was the need of an hour? Yeah, yeah that is, this is the really need of the hours because all over the world the disputes are there, fightings are going on and the dialogues are only the way to solve the problems. This is what we, we are expecting and through that only in India also, we have some confusions between the communities will be solved. That is what we thought. Dr. Al Isa on this stage um, talked about initiatives that we collectively have to take. Especially he said uh, Dharm Gurus, spiritual leaders have a responsibility to combat uh, extremist ideology. How do you look up to this? Yeah, this is the time of crisis in the new emerging world order. If you look at the whole crisis in the West Asia, Central Asia, Ukraine, in South Asia, Pakistan, Afghanistan. So it is a time to wake up call for all the religious leaders to building the bridge for the, all the religious society, inter-religious society, especially common people, connect with people to people. Because the future generations under a stake, who will lead this world and what is the directions? That's matter for today to so work together in academia and religiously to further better and brightest society in the world. Mm -hmm.